I've seen this clip going crazy on Twitter from the Pick Aside podcast. Shout out to the Pick Aside podcast. It's a debate about Kevin Wayne. That Boston Nets series was extremely close. The point differential in the series was what around ten points for the entire game. Not close. Win. A single no game, game. and they allegedly no. have two of the clutches one on one scores. But now and they win again. you add Ben Simmons, someone that can actually play defense. Does that change a sweep? What does it change? You add Joe Harris. Joe Harris That's also shoots in, that series in to me. the I don't know playoffs. Maybe he does this year. Yeah, y'all want to bring up injuries against the Bucks. Y'all remember stutter. when he lost the game for them because he couldn't yeah, make jump correct. shots. Uh-oh. What are we doing? I'm with you. Ben oh, Simmons okay. is a huge question mark. Big question mark. But you know, you pick who you want to pick. No, I got Boston. I'm going. I'm going healthy Boston, but I'm not okay with this decision. Second me. <laughs> and that's gonna do it well, for I episode. Said Boston. He's a fraud. Coming from come right. from the guy who who <laughs> slanders L. A. constantly. Oh, All right, I don't want to so hear this. Damn. Slandered. We huh? just went to oh. the chip. All right, and I'm not slandering you guys. You lost. I know. But we're yeah. talking the Lakers I, know, I, just gotta, I, just, I always got to remind you. I'm just you, saying, lost. you're telling me I'm sickening you. Meanwhile, I'm, I still chose you, your boys. you were riding with Boston all year last year, and Ben Simmons comes back, and now it's... The series was close can't believe Ben Simmons. Simmons. Ben Simmons. Ben changes a sweep. It wasn't until it wasn't. He does change a sweep. To what? Why would he not change a sweep? Because he can't shoot the ball. What does that have to do with sweep. anything? They lost by one point, game one, on a buzzer beater that was just a breakdown of defense and Tatum being Tatum. Why are you acting like he's not a good player? <laughs> I don't. I just don't think he's good enough to change a sweep. So what? His presence what do you doesn't mean, give what? the Nets. He's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, bro. Defense? No, forget no. about I, that, it. Might change. The, 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 it might the, change the, the, into a six-game series. But the Celtics. Personally. But the Celtics. Yeah, yeah. What I mean by that is, I don't think. This, I, I think you. the Celtics still win the series. I don't think he changes the outcome inevitably. I think he just changes the numbers. Y'all talk about Ben Simmons like he's about to come in and fucking go get buckets and hey, go post up this play. Context. No, he's gonna no, go no, and defend. He's one of the best. Yeah, he's gonna go yeah. and defend and do what he does. So They're still gonna have a spacing yeah, issue. Yeah. So far, I'm on bro on the left side. I ain't gonna lie. Like this, this whole cherry picking of now. Nah, if if this player was in there, they wouldn't have gotten swept. It would have been a five game series, y'all. He would have really changed the series. I'm like, I, I guess, I guess he did change the series. But in actuality, like, he still would have lost, bro. Unless you think otherwise, Sage, do you, do you think they win with Ben Simmons? The problem is, what the guy on the right is saying isn't necessarily a bad take. Ben Simmons probably would prevent a sweep. But we're talking about them potentially winning the entire series. That's a reverse sweep, my guy. Like, I, I can't I can't buy that. I can't buy that. It'd be a lot more than Ben Simmons, especially considering what Ben Simmons was thought of prior to being on the Nets when y'all was slandering him for passing the ball on an open dunk against Trey Young. Now he's going to save the, like, duality of NBA fans, but that's not new. I've waited my whole life to say this, man. This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Listen, man, live events are back. The NFL is about to get in that second gear. The NBA is just around the corner. Regular season about to start. Concerts are about to hit that second gear because artists love to drop at the end of the year. And no fear to miss any of that because SeatGeek got you covered. For those that don't know, SeatGeek is a live ticketing app that allows you to book easy getting tickets and experiencing the show i've used the app several times whether it's in vegas or even in my own hood in the dmv kendrick concerts corday concerts wizards games kendrick concerts again now that i think about it i got humble and acknowledged who my savior was using SeatGeek. and using the app is easy as well all i did was look for the green dots saw the ticket price that i like which was way better than a lot of other apps hit the little button purchase it look y'all know i'm a steelers fan and we ain't the best team right now but i gotta see them they my dogs and this app really gonna make sure that i see them in the best way possible again bro as you can see bro it's not hard just hit the green dots but hold on watch this watch this watch this it literally show you exactly how it looks bro it's not complicated all you do is hit the green dots gonna tell you the price green means great deal red mean i ain't gonna lie you about to get cooked and they tell you that and if you want to get cooked get cooked and thanks to SeatGeek, you can use code sns to get 20 dollars off your first purchase you heard me right the first time i'm gonna say it one more time 20 dollars off off your first purchase using the code SNS. Seriously though, shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. I genuinely do use the app, so it was easy for me to talk about. And now, let's get back to the video. Which, it's funny because Riv, go, Riv, Riv goes in, Riv, to. Riv goes on Katie to say, Kyrie on his team. We got fucking locked up. They're going to have four times. Wait, is that going to happen to Katie again? It can, it can happen to Kyrie again. 
What yeah, about KD? Mm. Well, they need both of them to beat Boston. They, no. it just, they didn't even KD. have one of them against Boston. If they had KD, they, they had zero the of them. Seven. They got swept, fool. They both Damn, didn't play seven. good and they got swept. What are you talking They're about? They're going to be good this year. One, so Ke- Kevin Durant KD is the one that can beat Boston, Boston by himself? Seth, yes. No, no he's, he not. he's not doing it by himself. KD's a fucking legendary playoff performer. Respect him. Two top finals MVP. He won it over your man. Your guy. Look at their fucking team. Yeah, look bro, at their team. Fucking look at their team. Look at nothing. their team. That's what happens when Westbrook got hurt? Right. He got smoked out by Memphis. You forgot that? What happens when they went up against the Spurs? <laughs> he fucking <laughs> choked. What happens when he blew a 3 1 lead? He was garbage Game in shit. every fourth quarter after that 3 1, after that time when they won three games. He was garbage in every fourth quarter. He was the reason they blew a 3 1 lead. Stop talking about KD like he this legendary demon. No. He is in his no. playoffs. He's legendary. No. Look at his playoffs average. He literally averaged three points per game. Yeah, I'm sure in the Bucks series. I'm sure you look at his averages. He almost beat the Bucks single handed. We're hard on a great two handed Kyrie Irving did not at play. Those fourth he took quarters. him to seven. Start looking at those fourth quarters. If it was quarters. not against for the Bucks, Swift being on the line, they no, go to the Against the finals. Bucks, he was amazing. But you forgot he didn't score in overtime. He over did six. not score. Because he six. carried the goddamn go. team over to six. overtime. Say, you didn't score, bro. Don't forget about that now. Don't forget about that now. <laughs> ah. Listen, listen. I, I think when it comes to these conversations, at, like people want to, no pun intended, for real, for real. People want to like pick a side. Like, is KD a choker or is he legendary? But I always say, man, the truth is almost always in the middle. Like, KD can be a really good playoff performer. He can be a, a really good floor raiser. But let's not act like there are moments within his career that like he just he just failed. Like, he, he didn't come up. He didn't get the job done. And I think you know it's it's fair to hold that against him. Does that mean he's uh you know not legendary? I don't think so. But maybe it's gonna be a a, a thing of like what what's legendary. What's what's a hooper to a hooper hooper type thing? I don't know. I don't know how they'll take this. What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non believe Like that type beat, bro. But at, like honestly, yo, Ke- Wayne gets buckets 100%. I don't know why we're trying to act like he doesn't sometimes for that specific side. Bro in 2012 did what you want all elite scores to do. Going against elite defenses, dropping 30 on great efficiencies night in and night out. He just ran into the big three heat while he wasn't even hit his prime. So it is what it is. I feel like that gets overlooked a lot. But simultaneously, bro, that carrying him in the Milwaukee thing, sure, true. I'm not taking nothing away from that, but I'm telling you, and it sound corny, it's going to make me sound like a LeBron fan, but it's the most factual way to get niggas to acknowledge it because it's just true. Souls is a witness because he's done this NBA shit longer than me. If Kevin Durant's name was LeBron James, gas is out in overtime, 0-6 in overtime, we're not saying, oh, well, it's because he can... No, 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 no. That pack is... Woo! And I even make it even clearer for niggas to want to take it to modern day names. If LeBron's too little old for you, God forbid it was Curry. God forbid Steph Curry go over six and over. Man, nah, bro. So look, bro, it's okay to be a line stepper. I do it all the time on the pod. <laughs> it's it's okay to be a line stepper sometimes, man. And then this is one of those situations where that Buck series really kind of identified exactly who I thought Kevin Durant really was. Okay. Him, they don't even you have a chance. Him, you talk to him legendary. He's got to do shit in overtime, too. I understand he Michael Jordan, to legendary. Michael Jordan is a legendary player. The man was damn near tired and beat Utah in game six. Got the he steal. Got the nah, game he wasn't winner. damn near tired. Got, he was dead. Got the steal. Got the game winner. That's what legendary so, players so, do. So Kobe Kevin, Bryant broke his fucking hand, and he did that. That's what legendary LeBron. players talk do. LeBron, legendary. 3-1 comeback. Came back. Kevin Durant got his foot on the line. Went into overtime. He didn't score, bro. He didn't put up no. No buckets. Stop calling that man legendary because he won with Steph Curry, the greatest shooter ever. Klay Thompson, a top three shooter ever. Stop calling that. Because when Westbrook went down, he got smoked out by Memphis. When they played the Spurs, he got smoked out. When they went up against Golden State, he blew a 3-1 lead. He choked. Stop doing that. Like Did he not lead him. a team to the finals at 23 years old? Yes. Did he not do that? He's 34. Ke- is Kevin Durant not a great elite level playoff performer? Is that what you just, are you saying he's not? You said legendary. You said legendary. You said legendary. There's a difference. My man, legendary, legendary is legendary. absolutely Damn. top, top, my top. He's the one who sealed the series against LeBron and the Cavs. It wasn't hard. State. It wasn't fucking Come hard. He hit the they shot. They were double teaming Steph Curry. They were they were double teaming Steph Curry. This in this situation, like, where Kevin Durant is on the court, they're double teaming Steph. Steph is the one getting double teamed. Stop. Legendary. Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant. LeBron James. Even fucking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Magic Johnson as a rookie. 45 points. 17 rebounds. Triple double. Larry Bird. Legendary. These are legendary. It's more legendary than the Kevin Durant. Yo, he is going stupid, yo. Yo, he's going stupid.
stupid, bro. My thing is, and I think this is what the conversation is gonna go to is like, what defines like a legendary player in this instance? I don't, I don't know how you can look at Kevin Durant and say he's not legendary just from a skill set perspective. We haven't. I mean, I mean Victor might change the game but we we, ha we haven't seen anything like him you know what i'm saying six for eleven guard uh with the handles and efficiency that he has and you know what i'm saying stuff like the, the bag that he has like just from that alone he is legendary but then couple that with the mvps mvp couple that with a finals appearance at 23 you know what i'm saying couple that with his totals all-star appearances all of that shit i don't know how you you look at kevin durant even if we don't weigh those championships very heavily and say that he's not legendary i don't know i don't know yeah not calling him a legend is kind of od i mean Granted, I'm a person that thinks there's only like six, if not seven peak, and I'd probably go less superstars in the league right now. I'm stingy with the word superstar. So he might just be correlating that with the word legend. But even then, it's like, what is your legends? Like five people? Because look, worst case scenario, Katie's not far from 20. <laughs> like, like, I, like if Katie's outside your top 20, you're already like, what, what? It, bro is not far from 20. So I don't know, considering all the thousands, I assume, players that have been in the NBA. Nah, for, for you to comfortably act like he isn't in that rare, rare, rare 1% of players, let alone talents. Fuck that. My man's is passionate. Y'all, y'all go this hard. Look, I, I discover every day I didn't like basketball as much as I thought I did. Hey, and I used to yeah, yell, no I used to yell at motherfuckers in the barber shop. I hate stupidity. So when I hear a bad take, I'll freak out. A hundred percent. I understand freaking out. I have passions. I used to get like this with Kobe. But as time went on, I watched basketball at the same volume. Hell, I watch it at a higher volume. But I I ain't been like these in a cool minute outside of my Lakers losing. But just a random wing debate. But like, like bro, fuck it. You think you're a legend? You're a legend, bro. Like, I, I don't care enough. But I, damn, my bad. Shit. I really thought I was like, ball is life for real. But like, these guys are ball is life for real. And not, you know, like o Omar has his thoughts on that on the podcast for the people who know. But for me, I, I just have a level of respect for them at this point. It's like, damn, like y'all, y'all yeah. really love basketball this much. And I, I, I fuck with it though. Like truly, truly, I fuck with it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not even on some hate and shit with it. I know we mentioned the pod three times now. I know on the pod we be dunking on everybody left and right. But no, nah, I'm not even hating this. It's just like. Damn. That's what we talking about right now. Stop talking about Katie like he's this guy. He's not that guy. He's a slim oh, reaper. He's garbage when it matters. He's oh. garbage. He's not clutch? Come on. Like, he got that dog come in him? on, bro. He got no swept. Bar? He just got swept. He didn't win a game. DeMar won a game. The Joker won a game. Trey Young got a game. Kevin Durant can't get a Tatum game. Tatum got a game last year against He KD, can't get a Kyrie. game? Against the big three net. He can't Tatum get a, got game? a game? Um, yeah. Embarrassing. Hey, Chad, he's spitting though, bro. Hey, that was that was my yeah, main point yeah. during the playoffs, bro. Motherfuckers went into that series, saw that the Celtics were on fire, had a more well-rounded team, but everyone was saying, I don't know, man. The Nets got KD and Kyrie, man. Just those two alone can solo squad some teams, man. Even though they're the seventh seed and they're a little bit hobbled up, I got them going up against the Celtics. I didn't forget. You see the hat, bro? I didn't forget. I did not forget those narratives. So for him to go in that series, do not care if it, if, if the point differential was close. Do not care. When y'all said they can solo squad that whole team and they can't even get a game off, a game. And even if they got one game, they got, they got gentlemen swept. These are the best scorers of all time and they can't fucking score right now. Both of them on the same team, by the way. So they should be building off of each other gravity and things of that sort but they couldn't get one off nah bro jason tatum's better that's all i can conclude <laughs> from that argument i don't I, I don't know what to tell you bro this tatum agenda has been crazy at a late <laughs> As a late, we well, you know it's wild. Homeboy in the back with your hoodie on, he's saying the same thing that you was just going against, though. He said earlier in the clip, yo, if Kevin Durant was truly on time and for real, bro, he's pushing him to seven by himself. Like, these are the takes that y'all not only had, but still have about Kevin Durant. And then when he doesn't live up to that, Man, he's all alone, bro. But you said that him alone could push him to seven. You you just said if Kevin Durant was on the, on the normal type timing, he would have pushed him to seven, bro. What if that's Kevin Durant on the normal type timing? But that's really not what you want to talk about. So let's go with this super Wayne drops 30 at night, still loses in five and six. Y'all would have been like, damn, bro. I mean, can we get some help? I thought he was going to seven. I thought he could have won it with one shot. I thought if his toe weren't on the line, he'd be another chance. Man, like, it's... it's duality they are big in game two what did they do 
They fucking choked. Kevin Durant got no rim pressure at this point. All he wanted to do is go to that stupid ass elbow shot, and the shit wasn't going in. His go to move froze up against Boston. He is not legendary. That's it. Stop yeah. putting him in that yeah. conversation. Yeah. So ben Simmons ain't no <laughs> fucking great player so five, for so five minutes of overtime totally erases everything KD, every great thing KD did against the against the Bucks in that series choke? in the second round. Did he choke? He was fucking phenomenal did in that he series. Did he ask me, answer the question, was he phenomenal in that series? How many minutes did he play? Look it up right now, real quick. How many minutes 48. did he play? 48. 48? He was phenomenal for 44 minutes of the game. Damn. 44 minutes of the game. He wasn't phenomenal so that for the matter. last five so you're telling minutes. Me, so you're telling me he was good for 90%. He wasn't good for 10%. That means he's fucking ass the most now? No, I'm telling, you, le I'm telling, you, I'm telling you legendary I'm telling you, legendary playoff performers are good or a legendary for 100% of that game. And so they get MJ, that game you swap out MJ and KD. MJ wins that series. MJ don't go off with that. Without Kyrie. MJ don't go off MJ don't go off with that. Without Kyrie. Without Kyrie. Without Kyrie. Without Kyrie. Let's not fuck. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Are you saying Kevin Durant better than Michael Jordan? No, not. That's what it's not. I'm just saying, he said right he was taxed with the impossible. So what the fuck? They were up when Ke they were up when Kevin Durant. Bro, his foot was on the line. He was about to hit the game with a shot. It's my fault. He wears a size thirty. It ain't my fault. He does that. <laughs> What are, you, what are you talking so about? Stop being ignorant nah, to his playoff. Crazy. Stop say being no, ignorant to his great I'm, playoff performance. He was saying, fucking great. No, what he was I'm phenomenal. saying is stop calling him legendary when there's too many moments of him folding when it matters. Stop bringing up Golden Bro. State when they had four All Stars, two superstars, and they played teams that just couldn't fucking bang so that with means, them. So that means Curry gets no credit for those rings too. If you're, if, do, do if I even talk about those rings? Wait, so, talk about Curry? Wait, so, do I ever do that? Do I ever do that? I If we're racing, I actually hate those rings. Do I not? I'm very adamant on that point. Hey, 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 my fuck is consistent, bro. Hey, hey, no cap. You, you are not going to catch him lacking. No cap. Chat, I be telling you, bro, when I used to be in the NBA type time, and I said, what is the most dangerous type of fan? A motherfucker who consistent. Because at the end of the day, you can have a debate with a motherfucker. The whole goal of a debate is have a meeting of the minds. But if a motherfucker is just, no matter what you say, consistent as a motherfucker, time and time. That's why I, I don't hate Skip Bayless. One thing Skip going to do is he going to hate Braun no matter what the motherfucker do. So when I turn on a, a Cavs segment or a Lakers segment or a Heat segment, I know exactly what Skip going to say. I, 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 like, he's weird, but how much can I hate it when he's done this shit for like 20 years? You got like consistency just it, it, it so lows NBA fandoms all troll aside, bro, because motherfuckers be flip flopping. But if you've had that same take, you apply the same logic to every player that's been in similar situations. I ain't gonna lie. You, you going GG a lot of niggas in debate. If we're erasing those rings from KD, then we're erasing them from everybody and go to say two. We're erasing yes, that. Really that's fine. We're that's erasing that. Like yeah. 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 Look, guess what, yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. Look, guess what Steph Curry did to Boston? Oh my God, he put them. The, excuse my language. He put them in a blender. Thirty-one points he a game. Did. Historical he final. Because that's what legendary there, players do. He, he cooked them. He cooked everything they put in front of him. He did it to them. You know what Kevin Durant could do when it came? You know what? You know what happened? Steph was by himself. Steph was he, by himself. He missed the game with the fucking shot. Well, Steph was by himself. What was Katie against the fucking Milwaukee Bucks? Steph was by himself. Harden was there. The Harden was on the court. Hey. Harden was on the court. You know what? That's that's a good point because in 2019, I believe it was the game Curry went crazy like 50 bomb. He missed that last shot. He did miss the last shot. Hey, hey you know you know what Max, Max Kellerman said the day after? I want Iguodala, bro. That, I like, want Iguodala. Hey. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great point. That's a great point, though. No cap. We're really seeing some debate masters here, Sage. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, these, these motherfuckers, they, hey, look, a lot of the E trolls, they just get mad. They see red and slander. These motherfuckers, they get mad. They, they not losing their head. I like this. I like this. He had a great two hands. He, he was on that the court. Shoot. He could not run up and Clay, down the court. Clay was, was not on the court. He just brought up Toronto. Kevin Durant wasn't on the court. Clay was out for half the series. And Steph still put up 30. 30. He had, 30 so, points. So why are you points. disregarding Katie J performance? You, I, what did I see? Oh. What did I see? Bro, oh, Curry, uh, Curry uh, fucking shot. Uh, he missed the fucking shot. He fucking set up a play. He, he missed the fucking shot. He choked that game. He choked that game. I'm what not disagreeing about. You. He choked that game. So you choked so that game. So he disregarded his entire series then. No, but I'm saying That's he a choked. Bad I'm moment. saying he was great. That's a bad moment. moment. And choked when it matters. Legendary performance don't choke. They don't choke. Kobe's never choked. 
He fucking blew a 3-1 lead, lead, too. he does it. More Kobe, times than not, he does it. Kobe blew a 3-1 lead, too. More times than not, he does it. Kobe blew a 3-1 lead, too. Here's the thing. Not, he doesn't. Kobe didn't take a shot in the second half of a game versus the Suns in 2006. What are we talking about? Easy. The only player. Every great player choked. Let's not talk about more times than not, they don't. LeBron fucking choked. What are we talking about? Every great player choked. Relax. Can I finish? I told about that, LeBron. Every great player choked, bro. Listen, Joel, I'm getting to the point I'm telling you, shut up, because I'm trying to make a point. There's only one player who's never choked in NBA history. It's Michael Jordan. Uh -oh. That's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. LeBron fans! That's you right! <laughs> um, actually, um, actually, um, actually, <laughs> actually, actually, he's airborne. What did he do without Scotty? <laughs> Nah, bro. Ticket TV gonna come after you, bro. Damn. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Comment below. George's biggest choke. <laughs> Just put a fuck of it, chat. Just comment below to George's biggest choke job, man. Fuck it. Other than that, every other player's choked. So that's it. Relax with this conversation. You're getting crazy. All I'm saying. I'm getting, he's not getting crazy? The both of y'all. Both the other. First of all, what are you we'll talking about, bro? First of all, let's I stop disregarding great because they have a bad no, stretch. No, 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 like, no, no, no. What are we no, no, talking no, no. about? No, no. More times than like not, so. Kobe Bryant doesn't choke. LeBron James doesn't choke. Michael Jordan, like you said, one never choked. Player. More times than not, you can't tell me three moments right now that Kevin Durant didn't choke. I just gave Ooh. you five examples where he damn near wet the damn bed. You can't, and that's what I'm saying. Stop calling him legendary when, in more times than not, he's choked. I'm not saying he's not a great playoff performer. Yes, Kevin, it's Kevin fucking Durant. But let's stop putting him in that legendary like that category because that's only for a few guys. That's not for everybody in the league. That's not for all the top 12 guys. That's not for all the top. You, Hakeem is more legendary than Kevin Durant when it matters most. You know why? Because he's done shit that Kevin Durant wouldn't even dream of doing. Legendary Tough. shit the guys who, for more times than not, get it done. And Kevin Durant is not that. Did, did Katie choke in 2012? No. That's one moment. So did we're talking about 10 years ago. He told me three months. Let, 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 let my man cook. Yeah, three moments. Yeah, 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 hold 2012, on now. he didn't choke. You just said, and we, remember, you just said, don't talk about Steph and KD years. So what no, else? You're not going to talk about it. No, oh, I have no, all right no, to talk why? about it. You said, why? You said, you all said right why? why? You said they'll bring it up. 73 win team the right that he joined. Oh I have you got all the right it. to talk about it. That's it. Really? We can say 27 to 2018, Yuck. those are two moments. Yuck. That's part of his career. Yuck. What about when Russell Westbrook got taken out by Patrick Beverly and he was out for the fucking playoffs? KD was still in great in those playoffs. He lost some five He was great in those playoffs, though. He wasn't without his He was without his second best player on the team, bro. What are we talking about? OKC after 2012 was injury riddled. They were in the three one lead. The three one lead is inexcusable. That's a choke. There's no doubt. Nobody, bro. Nobody's denying that KD hasn't had bad moments. He's had bad moments. He but to fun. say to say, say that what? he's not a great and legendary playoff performer. Not a legendary. He's not a legendary. He is. I said he's a great playoff performer. He's not a legendary. KD has had some of the. Sage, let, let, let's answer this question: Is Kevin Durant a legendary playoff performer? Because I ain't gonna lie. I, after listening to both sides of the argument, I come to the conclusion that I don't think he's legendary. If, if we're basing it off of like legendary is Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe a little. I'm, I'm a little iffy on. I ain't gonna lie. Kobe, I'm a little iffy on. Chad is gonna get me for that. You know what I'm saying? But attack again. But it, <laughs> if, if, if legendary is is Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, to me is not a legendary playoff performer. He can be a great one. He can be a good one. But legendary? Nah. Nah, I can't can't I can't do it. Cannot do it. Legendary compared to the top 75, yes. Legendary compared to the entirety of the NBA history of duh. Legendary compared to the top, let's just even get 15 or 20. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie in its hold. I see it. I truly do. Cause we're talking about Michael Jordan's, I do qualify Kobe. Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry's, LeBron James's, Michael Jordan. I mean, I said Michael Jordan already. Magic Johnson's, Kareem's, Hakeem. Oh, oh. Like, He's I at the bottom bar of that, no diff. He definitely is like him, Will, at the lower end, 100%. Like, if we were to put it this way, chat, if you were to list in order best playoff performers of the top 12, fuck it, put KD at 12 if you don't like it. There's no universe he's even in the top five of that top 12. None. So, yeah, I see I see it if that's what legendary means. But to legendary, legendary to me is comparing to the entire history. Well, I see it.
Comment down below if you think Kevin Durant is a legendary playoff performer. We concluded me and Sage that he isn't. But uh, shout out to Pick Aside for this clip. Great podcast. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, with that being said, I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace out. Peace.